Greetings again, adventurers, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy. In the last episode, we sailed aboard our trusty airship to the northeastern city of Gaia, where we learned that an unscrupulous pirate had sold a fairy he had trapped in a bottle to a caravan merchant in the far desert to the uh, western continent. We then sailed over to the uh, lovely town of Onrak, near where the desert is, where we learned that the uh, daughter of the merchant is actually residing there, which is uh, very good for us. And she was the one who told us that the merchant has currently set up shop in the desert as well. But we need the ferry to uh, acquire oxy ale from the spring in Gaia. And we're at level 23 now, so uh, we're pretty good. Okay, good sir, we have your, your money. Wasn't easy, but we have it. 50,000 gil for that bottle. And a pleasure doing business with you. Now we have the uh, bottle, and uh, believe it or not, uh, unlike the pirate, the uh, caravan trader is a scrupulous uh, sort of individual, which means that the fairy is in fact uh, inside that bottle. Now saying that, we don't actually want to examine the bottle, because the moment we do, the fairy inside will uh, pop out and disappear. We want to release it in the spring in uh, Gaia, which is uh, very important, very important indeed. So uh, I shall leave you here for the time being, and I shall meet up again with thee in uh, the lovely town of Gaia. I'll see you soon. And we're back here in the lovely town of Gaia. We now have the ferry and the bottle. Without them, we could not uh, possibly hope to get the exhale because we needed a fairy in order to do that. And I believe the uh, we know where the spring is because we went there before. Right this way, up this uh, garden path here, and there is the nefarious pirate that sold the fairy in the first place. But, uh, in the end, we were the ones who emerged victorious. I suppose he did probably get a good profit for selling the fairy, unscrupulous as it is. Here we are, at the Spring of Gaia. And this, dear adventurers, is where we want to release the fairy. So let us, uh, open the bottle. Pop! fairy appears, then it's gone. But the fairy is, uh, the fairy is right there at the spring. That pirate trapped me in the bottle. I will draw Oxail, or Oxail, from the bottom of the spring for you. Hooray! Now we have Oxail. The Oxail furnishes fresh air. Why do we need Oxio? Well, to breathe underwater, dear adventurers. Now, uh, why do we need to breathe underwater? Well, follow me all the way back to Onrak and uh, I will show you. See you there. Ah, back in Onrak at last. Very in hand. Hooray. Now, uh, well, we the fairies back at the spring in Gaia, but we have the oxail in hand, which is uh, just as important. And where do we actually uh, need to go to use the oxail? Well, adventurers, there is one place where I haven't shown you in the previous episode. Somewhere around here. It's very important. And here is the daughter of the uh, merchant the dragon from the Cardi Islands. Now uh, we want to go down this way. My name is Cope, 
I saw it north, near the waterfall. Believe me, I think it was a robot. Now, the river, um, near, uh, Onrak, where we need to get to, in order to get here in the first place, actually does lead to a cave of sorts behind a waterfall, but we're not going to go there just yet. We'll, uh, we'll visit that soon enough, trust me, but, uh, Now Cope needs to uh, get out of our way, and there is a, uh, there appears to be a sage up here. Let's talk to you. Until 200 years ago, the power of water brought us good fortune, and then the fiends came along and ruined everything. Cope is going to, uh, oh no, 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 I think we might have gotten past him. Thank you very much, Cope. And, uh, we need to talk to this person here. Warriors, you have Oxyale. The mermaids wait. Please help them. Yeah, if we had visited this place earlier, we would have been told you need Oxyale. And she disappears. Because this contraption right here, bobbing up and down in the water, is, believe it or not, a submarine. Sadly, not a yellow one. Oh well. We need the Oxyale to actually uh, breathe, so down we go. Welcome, dear adventurers, to the Sea Shrine, the next dungeon, and uh, it doesn't have the uh, quaint music of uh, the Fire Cavern and Mount Golg, but uh, I guess we'll live with that. Ooh, and uh, Wizard Sargons now, we have to deal with. Fortunately, the, uh, with the power of the Zeus Gauntlets, I can just use Lightning too to be able to uh, deal with them with relative ease without having to use a spell charge. As you can see, not having to use spell charges is a very good thing. I could have given them to Theo to be able to use magic, but, uh... I need him to, uh, swing his sword. That takes care of all the Red Sahagans. Now it's just time to deal with the wizards. But, uh... Lightning is going to be especially useful down here in the Sea Shrine because all the enemies we have to fight are Water Elemental. Which is fortunate for us because we have incredible powers of Lightning. Sea trolls and lobsters. I don't think lobsters will poison. Um, no, I don't want to use any magic. I'll just uh, zap them with my bolts of lightning and have uh, everyone else deal with the rest. Although these enemies are still fairly tough. Oh, lobsters can poison. That's, uh, that's important. I didn't think they did, but they do. And again, there are poisonous creatures under the sea, so why not? Uh, looks like we're having lobster for dinner tonight. There we go. And again, that lobster is poisonous, so probably uh, not a good idea to eat it. Um, I've got plenty of pure potions. And, uh... As well, uh... Use up these, uh, low-level spell charges for now. here, which contains 2,000 gil. Thank you very much. I believe we shouldn't have to worry about too many enemies here on the Sea Shrine. Uh, we do have uh, great sharks, but, uh, well, they may be tough, but we are uh, just as tough. And 
And they're both going for Theo, which is uh, good for the rest of us, because Theo can take the damage. And when we're done with the Sea Shrine, we should hopefully uh, have some uh, decent underwater treasure at our disposal. As being a Sea Shrine, there is underwater loot. another chamber over here. Ooh, 99. 9900. That's a uh, decent amount of fuel there. I believe there's one more chamber. Ooh, and we have uh, Naga and Water Elemental this time around adventurers. Interesting that uh, the water elemental is a uh, in the shape of a uh, water tornado, but uh, and that Naga can cast lightning too. Well, I can cast lightning as well. Uh -huh. So for some reason, uh, certain uh, elementals are actually, well, and certain other denizens are actually uh, susceptible to ice down here in the Sea Shrine, which is uh, kind of strange, but uh, we'll go with it. And uh, we are racking up uh, the experience points. And I think a cure to, um... Just a touch of healing. Be sure. Um... Actually, I think, uh... Heal would have actually, uh been good at this point. Um, actually, uh, no, we've already used the, uh, already used that, so, uh, I'll get Theo back up to about, uh, well, that's probably good enough. More chambers. Um, that chamber is empty, I think. And more enemies, sea snakes. Which we shall, uh, use our bolt of lightning on. Even though using lightning underwater was probably a bad idea for us, um... Then again, as I said before, we do have anti-lightning on hand, so, uh... Is that? One down, and two should just probably uh, go all in. Since uh, we can pretty much take care of any uh, any threat at this point. There are some stairs up here, but uh, I just want to check if there's anything I've missed. One moment, adventurers. Never mind, adventurers. Those were the only two chests that we needed down here. Now, uh, we actually want to uh, ascend in this instance. And go this way. Because there is a lot of treasure to be found. Um, except in that room. That room is empty. There's a big eye. We uh, want to get rid of that. Because I'm sure, like its uh, other denizens, uh, the eye can actually paralyze with its gaze. Yeah, do not look the eyes straight in the eye. And that eye is uh, much tougher than its counterpart, but uh, we should be able to deal with it in no short order. As well 
was dealing with the uh, monster shock. Ghosts. Flee from the ghosts. Run from the ghosts. Actually, we could probably take ghosts on, but, uh... Oh. Okay. Ghosts are, uh, going to be quite formidable, it seems. And, uh... Well, that's what the Harm 3 spell is for, and I probably should get Harm 4 at some point. Yeah. another, uh, harm spell to, uh, kick things off. And I died. That's pretty tragic. Because that means I don't get any experience for this particular encounter. Boo! Boo! Yeah, ghosts. Ghosts are deadly. Very deadly indeed. Four. Four. And cure four. <sighs> ghosts are annoying. Now just let me check my map to see where I uh, actually need to go. And hope I don't get lost. Yeah, so the, uh, entrance to this room is actually in a, uh, is over there, which is why I couldn't find it down the bottom. And more Sahagans, I will deal with them. Mental note to self, always make sure to reconfigure one's party after something goes horribly wrong. Never mind, I want to go into this chamber the treasure that's over there. Actually, that was completely not worth it. 20 gil. Bar humbug. I believe we want to, uh, interrupt this way, to that upper chamber. And more sea snakes. I could use my melee attacks at this point probably better for, uh, dealing with enemies. But using those cure spells on those damnable ghosts is going to be very frustrating for me. Yeah, having harm for spell is going to be uh, exceptionally useful against those damn ghosts. And uh, I need those level 7 spells for cure 4 when the uh, going gets exceptionally tough. One more sea snake to go. And luckily that missed out at uh, Yazir. Oh well, at 
least do zero net and both did considerable amounts of damage. There we go. Yeah, those ghosts are pretty much going to be the only real threat to us at this point. Then again, Easier's health is uh, once again looking the worse for wear. far behind uh, everyone else in terms of levels. Ooh, and Opal Armor. Opal Armor is probably uh, what we're going to be giving to uh, Theo at some point. Um, might actually uh, give it to him right now. Uh, it is actually uh, pretty decent armor for Theo. Nice, so uh, I shall see you back down at that uh, intersection, adventurers, and uh, we shall head further south. Damn those cursible ghosts. I want to uh, venture down here to this chamber. For a light axe. Hmm, might be useful, might not. Small sharks to deal with. And the, to the next chamber we go. The mage staff. Now, uh. Well, actually, uh, I don't really know what the mage staff actually does. I know it's a weapon. Um, so I'm actually going to uh, give it to uh, Adam for now, and uh, I'll just see what it does. So uh, give me a moment. Okay, so it seems that the mage staff confers uh, fire too. It can only be used by. Uh, Yazir, since he was a black mage and is also now a black wizard. So, uh, I really want him to uh, have that because, uh, well, he's no longer going to be needing the uh, daggers at this rate. Being able to cast Fire 2 without using up any uh, spell charges at this point is going to be uh, pretty decent. Now, uh, I believe we have one final chamber that we have to. Uh, Explore, get some treasure. Of course, a reminder that fire doesn't necessarily work well on water, which probably should have been fairly obvious. And there are the stairs, but uh, we want this 12,350 gil. Very nice. And we want to get out of the stairs uh, before we actually uh, fight some enemies and. Pretty much at this point, we're on the first level of the Sea Shrine. Uh, the entrance to the Sea Shrine obviously is, uh, that means it's on the third level. But we can actually take a breather. Well, of course we can take a breather because after all, we do have the uh, Oxy Ale, which allows us to breathe underwater. But there are no enemies on this level, which uh, is a good sign. But there are mermaids here, hiding from the denizens of the deep. And some much needed treasure. 9,000 gil, 1760, and an opal bracelet. Um, I'd be giving that to uh, Adam at the, this point. Because it's, uh, he's definitely going to be needing that. But there's more treasure, don't worry. Um, and we'll speak to more of these mermaids as well. 
If we cannot regain the power of water, we will become bubbles, then disappear. Well, that is definitely uh, ungood. The mermaids will dissolve into bubbles as long as the fiend of water rules over the power of water, it seems. My friend Daryl went to the land, then never returned. I've often wondered what happened. Maybe she grew legs and walked away. Interesting. We ran into a woman uh, who was amazed at the fact that she had legs. Maybe that was Daryl. I wonder. This place is obviously flooded, but, uh, well, of course it is because we're still underwater. Unbelievable. You can breathe underwater? I'm impressed. That's because uh, of the power of Roxy Ale. Another chest over here. 2750. We're definitely racking up the gill. And then we're going to be racking up more uh, in due course. Please save the sea and make the orb shine again. That we will. That's our next order of business. I suppose you are the legendary dot 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 dot. We are the light warriors. Destined to save the world. 4150. Yeah, we're going to uh, need every gill. 5,000. Excellent. Um, some more chambers down here. Some more mermaids. This is the shrine's top floor. The fiend of water, Kraken, lives on the bottom floor. So the fiend of water is the Kraken. Wonder if we will be fighting Davy Jones. As long as the Fiend of Water lives, we... Oh, boo-hoo. It won't dissolve into bubbles. We will deal with the Kraken. Before we get this dressed, we'll talk to the, uh, this mermaid here. To unlock the Mirage Tower, the Lefanus used a musical tome. That's actually a useful information to know. Pure version. Thank you very much. Uh, chamber down here. Nice. Noble shield. Going to, uh, going to trade that for, uh, flame shield at this point. Because that is, uh, going to be exceptionally useful for, uh, Theo in this instance, and we are actually uh, starting to run out of uh, space for equipment. Yeah, we're going to have to sell some items, and uh, I think we, uh, well, just losing track of myself, uh, I believe we did, yes, yes we did. I believe there are two more chambers. Uh, go into this one? I don't think we did. Are we going to become bubbles? No, you're not. Ooh, 10,000! You could almost buy our own ship for that. But well, we already have a ship in the form of the airship. And 10 gil. There is a room over there, but uh, for some reason we can't get to it. Well, there is a way to get to it. We just have to uh, venture out in this direction. Try and make our way to the uh, northern area here, along this really long corridor. It is somehow long enough to reach all the way around here. An opal helmet, opal gauntlets. And, last but by no means least, the slab. Slab is uh, what we wanted to find. Unknown symbols cover the slab. Well, uh, somebody told us who to give this to. Dr. Oon, all the way back in Melmond. Now, uh, and equip the uh, silver gauntlets and the uh, Helmet and replace them with the opal. Like so. And equip them to, uh. 
put them all to Theo there. So now he should uh, really be going strong. He's uh, become quite knight. Now uh, we could venture back down to the third level of the sea shrine. You know what? We're actually uh, going to use the exit spell and uh, make our getaway. Because why not? Lost. No way out. Is it hopeless? Use the spell to exit. Don't mind if we do. But we want to remain here in uh, on rack for a little while, not longer. And I believe this is Daryl. Yes, it is. That is indeed Daryl. And uh, that's the clinic. There's the inn and the item stores. I want to try and find, if I can remember where they are, the uh, other stores, and that way leads back to uh, the submarine. And actually, you know what? I think I'm going to uh, end the episode here for the time being, and when we return, we'll, we'll have... Uh, sold off our uh, excess equipment for a decent amount of gill, and prepare ourselves to descend further into the depths of the sea shrine, and uh, deal with Kraken, the fiend of water, and his amphibious minions. So as always, dear adventurers, until next we meet. <laughs>